wishing that I had some lemon wedges right now. Totally just almost did here. All right, this week, I didn't even know what this week was gonna be about. I, last week was my first uh, studio vlog, and so this week I knew I had stuff to do, so I'm just kind of showing you what I'm working on. But I'd love to hear your feedback. What do you like seeing? What do you wanna see more of? Uh, you know, what interests you? Because I, I don't have to show you everything, <laughs> right? So, uh, you know, this week is actually kind of, it's fun, but it's totally different. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of oil painting done, but I got a lot of gouache painting done. I tried out some new gouache paints that are from Japan. So that's really fun and exciting. I worked on uh, uploading, editing, and creating new stickers. And I even started a new product that I'm going to be launching soon. So make sure you stick around, check everything out. It's a pretty cool week, lots of new fun fun things and experiments. So um, yeah, thanks for joining and I'd love to hear from you. Let me know in the comments what you think. Good morning, it is Monday and I have been sitting at my desk for a little bit working on my morning sketch and then I, before I even realized what was happening, I'm working on some digital illustrations. So last week, as you know, I was working on those travel sheets um, and I wasn't really thrilled with them. The design, the coloring, the way they printed, I just wasn't in love with them. So I did go ahead and just try them in a different way. So I'm gonna show that to you. So I'll talk to you about why this is printing soon. The sticker sheets, I don't know if I went into details about this last week, but holy smokes, these sticker sheets have been something I've been wanting to do for a while, but it's been very freaking challenging. Hopefully now this makes a huge difference. I am really hoping to start doing some more planner stickers like these and having them on my site. Crazy, right? Look at that. Look at that! Isn't that insane? So I sat on the floor to work on some product photography right here, which I'm not really not sure about that whole scene, but I'm trying to do more lifestyle stuff, but I'm totally stuck because I've got a problem. I've got the space heater running. And now here I am, and I've got the dogs, and they're snoozing. And all I want to do is curl up with these big old loaf pups and sleep. Boop. Okay, it is sunny out, and I have been waiting for a sunny day because I wanted to try to take some photos of my glassware that I'm trying to get listed. I wanted to get some photos of it outside in a more of like a lifestyle setting. I've never done anything like this. I can't figure out if I need to put water in them or like make some iced tea. That's my rooster. Iced tea sounds good anyways, so maybe I'll just make some iced tea. Really wishing that I had some lemon wedges right now. But I don't really want to leave because I'm going to run out of sunlight to go and do that. So I'm just going to keep working with what I've got and if I have to shoot it another day, then I'll shoot it another day the way it is. We got water with ice in it. And then I love these so much. These are like button something flowers. I cannot remember for the life of me. I absolutely adore these flowers. It's about a little bit after five, I've got a glass of iced tea now. I got my photos of my glasses taken. I'm gonna sit down and try to get some editing done outside because it's just so nice outside. All right, good morning. It is Tuesday morning and I thought I'd take you with me to go see the chickens again. This is Mrs. Frizzle. Frizzle has eggs underneath her. Isn't Mrs. Frizzle just absolutely adorable? I definitely named her after the Magic School of Buzz's teacher because she's redhead and her hair is everywhere. She's a frizzle chicken, so her feathers go everywhere. All right, um, I have done my sketch for today, which is this a little bit little adorable little robot. And I, my goal with it actually is that I am going to try out some new gouache paints. So I'm really excited about these, you hear my dogs fighting in the background. I'm really excited about these gouache paints because they're from Japan. My brother got them in Japan. And look at them, oh my gosh, I'm holding it upside down. Look at them, aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they, you're just looking at the box. I have these beautiful colors in here. And so I thought this morning, I'm just kind of trying to take a little bit of a chill day still because 
they're wrestling. My, I get wrist issues. Last year I overworked my wrist doing a lot of paintings. At that time I was doing um, um, work for Chewy and I was doing pet portraits I sent out and I was overworking. You have to do large batches at a time, so you have to do at least 10 paintings at a time and they have to be done within like nine days. And there's all of these like rules around it. So, um, and as an oil painter, nine days isn't very much time. So I was really overworking myself and I injured, I caused a stress injury to my wrist. And ever since then, I have to be careful with my wrist. Um, because I overwork it easily and uh, cause more stress. So I've been playing a lot of video games lately. I've been playing Monster Hunter Rise and it's awesome and you haven't played it yet. But between holding the PlayStation controller and the triggering and then all my drawing and painting and uh, all of that, my wrist has been hurting. So I'm trying to take it easy. Long story short, I'm trying to take it easy again today. It's Tuesday. So I'm going to be doing just a little bit of um, art stuff around and then I'm just gonna try to work on some stuff around the house. Oh, and look like, how cute he turned out. He's so freaking cute. Okay, okay, okay. Seriously. He's a little robot. He's a little elephant on his shoulder right there. He's his little buddy. So these are the paints. I'll show you again. That's that. I absolutely love it though. It's so Aren't these so cute? They're in my sketchbook. So then I've got this little like rando dog that I did. These are some little memo pad ideas that I'm sketching out and I really like them and I'm really excited about this project. This little, I'm kind of leaning for the Earth Day stuff, this little um, plant, like a little sapling with a little Tweety Bird on it and then like a bird up here in the corner. I will definitely bring you along for that process because who knows how the hell that's gonna go. All right, I will see you tomorrow, bye-bye. Morning! I have my mug I got for Christmas. I reserve this mug specifically for days that I plan on painting. Today I don't plan on painting a ton, but I am gonna work on some more robots because that robot yesterday was freaking cute and I wanna make more like it. So I'm gonna sit down and do my morning sketch, which is just really gonna be sketching out those robots. And then I'm gonna go forward with getting that gouache paint out again and working on them and we'll see how they turn out. I'm really excited. I love the way the one yesterday looks. I love the, its color palette. So we'll see, I wanna make two more is my goal, um, maybe three. So at this point in my day, I needed to start working on this memo pad. I had already created the illustration for it and I knew that I needed to get it set up and put on a memo pad, um, like actual like structure and dimension. Okay, I just got the memo pad loaded in Photoshop and it is so freaking cute. Let's see if I can get this showing to you. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. I did a test print. Let me make sure I'm showing you the right one. Look how freaking cute. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm printing it. You can hear it in the background on my Canon, which is what I use for my prints because if the color saturation looks better on the Canon, I'll probably opt to go ahead and print these on it instead of my Epson. So we will see how it goes. I love this. I love this. Um, it's fun to play an experiment like this and sometimes it can get frustrating because things don't go like as planned or it's taking so long to figure something out. Sometimes I lose days to just learning this stuff. But then I love it too. I love doing it. I love exploring new products. I love exploring my art in different ways and I love just seeing like, what can I do? What am I capable of? I never would have thought I could make my own notepads at home. A year ago, if you would have asked me if I'd do something like this, I'd be like, Psh, I wish. And here I am doing it. All right, it is time to turn these adorable little robots into some stickers, shall we? So I always scan them in. I just use my Epson scanner. I think I talked about it earlier this week. It's the Perfection V600. And I scan in my stickers 
and I always title them and when I title all my stuff I try to make it really easy later so when I can't find it because my folders are kind of messy I can just search it so I try to be really good with my title name so this is robot duh it's gonna be a sticker okay and then what's its like defining thing like it's the one with the elephant on it and then I've started adding the year also because that just makes it easier later on um, to be able to view like okay here's everything from 2023 or anything like that that I want to look at I've just started adding the year and then I label it a scan oh my gosh look how cute they are like why am I not making robots all of the time look at this one it's got a little barbell he's getting swole and hold on here's my mat kitty oh Super exciting news. I went over to Staples today and I talked to them about cutting my memo pad paper for me. And they can do that, but it would be like $20 to $30 per like memo pad pretty much, which obviously then I'd have to charge you so much money. Nobody would ever pay that. Um, so that's not gonna work, but they did have a guillotine paper cutter that I can just use for free. So that's gotta be better than my little slider. So I'm gonna try that out and, head, and head over there and do that. I did order my paper that I need and I ordered the chipboard. So I'm gonna be working on my metal pads today or tomorrow, but what's really freaking weird, I've done all these gouache paintings this week, which is great, cause that's giving me my painting still, but I haven't touched my oil paints this week. My easel has sat naked and bare this whole week. I think it's the longest I've ever gone without doing an oil painting in like a year, probably since I last really injured my wrist, which is one of the reasons I'm not painting as much this week, cause my wrist hurts. But yeah, about a year ago is when I had my wrist injury and I was out for like three weeks, like no painting whatsoever. So, holy smokes, isn't that weird? I need to find something to paint. Oh, hello, hello, it is Friday. I cannot believe it's Friday already. I have, ugh. I've gotten a lot done, but it feels like I haven't done a lot, right? I, I always hate when it gets to the, the end of the week and it's like that, but I plan today to print out all of my papers for my memo pad and um, get like the first true prototype together and show it to you. And that was going to be my big like end of the week grand finale. And of course, I ran out of ink and they don't sell my ink at the store at the staples near me so i actually have to order it and it won't be here until monday that's the way it goes right so what i'm going to do instead today is i have two big ass paintings that need to be varnished and then i have two cat portraits that need to be varnished as well so i'm going to get those varnished and you get to watch the process because these are huge check these all right i don't, I don't even know how to <laughs> gauge the size here for it so you can understand that's my foot <laughs> that's my floor and then here's my other big one oh and i have this painting to varnish too i don't want to forget about that so yeah i've got three very large paintings to varnish and i got a big brush i'm going to be using and then i've got these two cats that need to be varnished as well and I do have one more painting that's a personal painting in our, my personal collection and I might grab that and go ahead and varnish it while I've got my big brush out because it's big nice sky oh, kind of so like that one finished this painting a long time ago and I never varnished it and I think I'm gonna do satin because I don't want it super glossy but I also don't want it matte so I'm hoping fingers crossed this is the right choice we'll see all in all it's been kind of a wild week a little bit different than what my typical week looks like I did a lot of bouncing around um, but sometimes just that's just the way it is that's part of running you know an art business is that there's so many components involved in it that from you know advertising to packaging to creating and designing there's just so much wrapped into doing it and so you just got to see more of the um 
back end process this week, I guess, with me creating the stickers and starting my memo pad, which I'm super excited about, and varnishing just some more of the in you know the product photography and everything. So. Uh, that's been my week this week. I hope that you enjoyed. Please comment, let me know, like this video, and next week hopefully I'll have some more paintings for you. Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!